up YouTubers, it's Vincent1989 here with another Let's Paint. It's a, a rainy Saturday afternoon, so I thought I'd get some more of these videos out for you. This one's going to be a little different today. Rather than showing you how to paint a miniature from start to finish, I'm going to do a bit more of a, a master class on an element of the model. The first one I'm going to do actually is the robe, and I'm going to do that on my armoured Kelleborn model, which I've got here. Now, I have already started it. As you can possibly see, it's a bit blue there, but when I did the base, I got a bit of the uh, the dry brush on the cloak, so I'm just going to go over that bit again for you. So the first thing we're going to do is put on our Cantor blue. We're going to use uh, the Citadel standard brush for this, or a larger size brush. Uh, make sure you shake your paints up well before you use them, and make sure you use make sure you they're not too thick. Use a bit of water. You want a nice nice smooth consistency. Don't want to be leaving any lumps and bumps on your lovely models. And then anywhere that's going to be a robe, we're just going to paint blue. That's the first stage. Uh, once that's dry, we'll come back to you and we'll go on to the next stage. Once your Cantor blue is completely dry and you've closed the lid properly, um, you'll have a nice even coat. It is very important that it is completely dry before you move on to the next step. You shouldn't have to wait too long. You want a, a nice good solid single coat. Um, you just want to really fill the recesses up with this null oil. Now nice and non oiled and now we need to let that dry. This bit will take about 45 minutes to an hour to dry thoroughly. It is important again that this, this stage is thoroughly dry before you move on to the next stage. So we're going to reapply our base coat which was Cantor Blue. And um, the wash has done two things for us really. The first one is that obviously it's in all the recesses and it's given them a nice shade. And the second thing is that it shows us where to apply the highlights because anywhere that's black or very deep blue now is where you don't want to apply a highlight because you know that that's natural, going to be in natural shadow because of the curves and the, the recesses and, and where the light would fall. So you can see that there are certain areas on this model where we now, we would not apply this second base coat, this high, this first highlight stage. I've now switched from the standard brush to my size 4. It's just so there's a bit more control. I don't yet need the size 1, but um, there's definitely, you definitely need a lot more control. Now with this brush, with this uh, reapplication of the base coat, we're trying to re-highlight most of the cloth. You just need to let that um, dry fully and then we'll be back with the first layer. So, be, see you in a second. Next thing we're going to do is mix a bit of, I hate pronouncing these names, a bit of this Alatoc blue with the Cantor blue, about sort of one to one. There's what I've got left from the Cantor blue from the last stage. I've got a bit of Alatoc blue on my brush and I've just added a tiny bit of water. I'm just going to mix it in. I usually do this by eye, I don't worry, but again, as human beings we try and make everything perfect, but certainly in, a, in an environment, in a world like that which is in The Lord of the Rings, there, was, there wasn't mass production, things were made with natural dyes, seldom would two robes be the exact same colour, so I don't worry too much about getting the exact same colour when I'm doing my heroes. As long as it's roughly, so I've not measured that out perfectly, it's not a perfect one to one, it's by eye approximately one to one. And this will give us um, the next stage of our highlight. I'm still using the standard brush um, because I still don't want too fine a highlight just yet.
you want a nice you do want a nice straight line where where that meets the really deep fold down the back you want a nice straight line there so again that's that done now we're going to go pure ala top blue no mixes um, and we're going to switch to the finer brush just so you can start to get a few more of the finer details So one of the things I, I disliked about Games Workshop's new paint at first was that I think they're quite translucent and it tends to get a lot to get a good even coverage however that this is the layer paint however as I've used them more I'm beginning to wonder if that's intentional because I think it really gives a much it helps to achieve a much nicer blend between the different layers next thing to do is to keep our other top blue and mix in some temple guard blue that's the, the really bright kind of jady colored blue three parts other top to about one part of this temple guard and this will really make the uh, the robes begin to pop so you don't need a lot of this and you don't want to you don't want too broad a line So I just took that off the camera there, I not to do any trickery or anything, just to make sure I'd got all the areas that I wanted to get. So I'm fairly happy with that. If you can see along the edge here where there's, there's not a lot of definition in the fabric, I'm just painting some very fine lines to kind of give the effect of threads and of, I don't know, light, light glancing off and just to give it a bit more depth than if it was just flat and plain. Now, um, you can leave it at that and it's fairly similar to this guy Let's see if we can get some focus i don't know what it's focusing on there we go um but i believe i did actually do some very final uh, highlights with the temple guard on its own which uh, again is very strong color if you apply too much of this it will overpower it so it needs to just be on the very highest of areas um so places like the very top of the the kind of shoulder guard here so that's Kellerborn's cloak finished and now he's going to blend in really nicely with my other elvish heroes as you can see here okay so that is kind of a, a let's paint short so thank you for watching i hope you've gotten something from this and i hope you're going to apply the things you've learned today to the models um, in your own collections and uh, just because i think it's a, a wonderful model i'm going to show this guy off again this cloak was painted using the exact same technique and the exact same colors uh, so you can achieve that at home as well thanks for watching please remember to like comment share and subscribe for more painting unboxing reviewing wargaming goodness 